Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know. Let's listen to the Bible together and then try and hear what God is saying to us today. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 1 So get rid of all evil behaviour. Be done with all deceit, hypocrisy, jealousy and all unkind speech. In the previous chapter, Peter commanded his readers to love one another. He now spells out what that will involve. Because if we're truly to love other people, then bad behaviour must stop. There's no way in which a church can be dominated by love when there's deceit, hypocrisy, jealousy and gossip. All of those things are destructive of the love, joy and peace that God wants to dominate the lives of Christians. I've often heard people tell me that they have found their church deeply disappointing. Very often there's a problem with gossip, which so easily develops within any close community. And most odious of all is when Christians talk the talk, but fail to walk the walk. They're quick to criticise others for their failings, but are shown to be just as failed themselves. And so we could go on. It should never be a surprise that Christians often get it wrong because we're all sinners. But what is tragic is when bad behaviour is not challenged. For love's sake, we need to ensure that we identify and root out bad behaviour. When we become Christians, Jesus becomes the Lord of our lives. But that doesn't mean that we are no longer able to make bad decisions. We're still entirely able to act in a destructive and unhelpful way. The onus is on us to take effective action. The expression in Greek that Peter used here is to strip off all bad behaviour and he uses the verb for taking off one's clothes. Your clothes won't fall off you just because it's the end of the day and you're tired. You need to take action. It's exactly the same with our bad actions and attitudes. Much as the law wants us to remove them, it's down to us to take action and to get rid of them. God will give us the strength to do so, but we have to strip them off. Let me pray with you. Loving God, give us your strength to become the people that you want us to be. Amen. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.